Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it is from the 5th to the 11th of October 2020 Scorpio. So let's get straight into the reading as we always do and pull your overarching message or energy for the week. <clears throat> okay, interesting, we've got the Fool. Okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What do we have for Scorpio, please? 5th to the 11th of October 2020, please. <clears throat> so all the tarot cards I'm using this week are Marchetti, and I'm using Karen Kay's Oracle cards too. So we have Solitude. Maybe some introspection there. Okay. What do we have, angels, for our lovely Scorpios? 5th to the 11th of October 2020. What is the message? Oh, opportunity. Okay, Scorpio, so I pull four cards, as you know. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge third card is advice from spirit and fourth card is your outcome then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay message for scorpio please okay the star energy that's you second card is the seven of swords in your challenge position. Page of Wands is advice from spirit and the fourth card is the faith card, the Hierophant, card of Taurus. Okay, so message for Scorpio please, angel spirits guides. What is the message that Scorpio needs to hear please? Thank you. So I've got temperance Uh, the Seven of Swords in your challenge position, Scorpio. We have the Three of Cups. Page of Wands. Oh, wow, we've got the world. And the Faith card is clarified by the Moon. Bottom of the deck. Oh, wow, I've got the Sun. So you've got the Moon and the Sun in your reading. Okay, so I'm going to take the Radiant Wise Spirit deck and I'm just going to clarify a few cards. Let's clarify what this fool is, please, for Scorpio. It definitely feels like there is some opportunity coming your way. Okay, thank you. So, the Knight of Swords. Let's clarify the star. King of Wands. This Seven of Swords. I've got the Two of Cups there. The World. I've got the Eight of Pentacles. And what is this sun? Let's clarify this sun. Let's clarify this sun, please. Angels, spirits, guides. The Ace of Swords. It feels like the breakthrough here. So, Scorpio, it feels uh, there is a new beginning. That is bringing you freedom, liberation. It's a new chapter, a new beginning, taking a chance and a new direction. Next level, call it what you will. 
because it and it feels like this is something that you've been working towards uh, the full energy is the beginning of the major arcana it is that new chapter taking a leap of faith taking a chance going your own way it is a uranus energy so there's an energy of, of going your own way uh, carving out your own path you know um the fool is blind faith, blind trust that everything will be provided by him, by the universe. He will get what he needs to complete his journey, setting off on a new path. But it feels like there's conviction in this is where I need to go now. Now, the Knight of Swords, it can be some news coming your way or a conversation bringing a new beginning. And it feels it's linked with some kind of opportunity. And it definitely feels like it's been something that you've been working towards here. The Knight of Swords is a shift, positive shift, something coming in fast that is bringing positive change and opening a new door for you. So very exciting energy here. Now this solitude energy, it's interesting because when I got this originally and it came out of the deck, first thing that came to me was going your own way. Um, it feels a very empowered energy here going your own way but it might well be that there has been some time some introspection in which way you want to go where you place your focus it might well be that there has been some evaluation for example to do with could be to do with your money career uh, could be to do with love relationships i mean both are in this reading it feels, Scorpio, that there has been some deep thought time, um, time alone to really assess which way you want to go. And then it feels like there's been a focus on putting your energy into a certain direction and making something new happen in your life. So we have the star, which is blessings from the universe. It is new hope. A new dream there is hope now it might well be to do with it could be to do with an opportunity coming into you because I'm seeing the king of wands and this page of wands here so this could be a person who is heralding in a new opportunity something that you've been hoping for it feels very much like something is beginning to happen here the star is a new direction new hope new dream but it's very much where you're working in, in tandem with the universe because this is somebody who's stepping into their true light. <clears throat> that, you know, it's always, generally we see a, a naked being on the star card because it's somebody who is, who is finding new direction in their truth. It's a sense of self-renewal as well. So I definitely feel for some of you, certainly with this fuel energy, that you're ready for something new, a new direction it's heralded in by some kind of opportunity that's coming your way. I feel this King of Wands is linked to that. King of Wands is a leader. King of Wands is somebody who's very successful, top of their game, in their power, so a go-getter, somebody who um, takes action, goes for what they want and brings incredible success and growth. And, you know, it, it, they're surrounded by a blue sky because there's no limit to what they can achieve when somebody's really in their power. So it feels in this energy, Scorpio, that's either you or going for an opportunity or somebody bringing an opportunity into you. It feels very much to do with a person. Now, there's been some patience here. I definitely feel with this temperance energy. You've gone through a period of, of, of being patient for this to arrive, but it definitely feels like something new, a new hope, a new dream is unfolding for you. And this is where you are understanding how to find your flow again, uh, find balance, find your flow, make peace with what's ever gone before. Interestingly enough, this comes after the death card in the Major Arcana, which can be endings or deep change. So, for example, if this refers to your career, for example, it might well be that there's been some deep change in your finances or career or job or business. 
and you're just trying to adapt and move forward to find new opportunity here and it feels like it's taken a bit of time because there's been some patience that's needed to find your flow but it feels that things are beginning to flow your hope your dream is beginning to manifest almost it's beginning to take form it definitely feels very powerful um now we have the seven of swords and we have the two of cups you know this it can feel scorpio that there was somebody that you had a bond with you could have been let down i mean this can be a card of betrayal it can be a card of not every, every not somebody not being what they seemed it feels in this energy scorpio that because the two of cups is that bond you may have been betrayed by somebody or you may have been let down by somebody all was not what it seemed things may have come to light here come to the surface and i'm kind of thinking that is your challenge to actually move on from that it might well be whatever the fallout of this was because the three of, of cups can also be about one door closing another one opening so it can be about finding closure in a situation it feels like you've been adapting you've been trying to adapt to find new opportunity here scorpio because of what the fallout of whatever this was so for example in love this could have been a relationship you know some something coming to light or some betrayal or deceit in a relationship it can also be obviously in business career a bond that you had with somebody trust it feels like there's some broken trust here because somebody didn't seem to be what they seem to be and I'm definitely feeling that energy quite strongly so that might resonate for some of you and you've been working hard because the world is uh, a completion it's the ending of a cycle it's the end of the fool's journey so this is the advice from spirit that it feels like you're ready for i mean the saturnian energy and the saturnian energy is where you've been through tests challenges i mean that's the full full journey it is that saturnian energy uh that takes the fool from innocence to worldly experience it, that is the the journey of the fool and this is the completion of that the learnings the experience grown spiritually emotionally physically you know as a person and being enriched by that and Saturn wants you to fulfill your potential but it feels like there you're ready to step through to the next phase of your life now and obviously with the fool appearing it feels like the time is now the eight of Pentacles is an energy of you might have been working hard uh, to I mean it feels like a lot of hard work here the eight of pentacles is generally to do with money and career i mean it can be just hard work um but it definitely feels in this energy that somebody's been working hard for material gain in particular or to bring value security stability to their life um it's where they're stacking that up it's where there's positive change on that front as well somebody who has been working through it feels like what has been a completion and focusing their energies in the right direction and it feels to bring in some opportunity because spirit is saying your hard work has not gone unnoticed and there is some good news coming your way and i feel it's to do with this wand that the king of wands holds the new direction the new hope that you've been working and adapting to so for example this completion it could be uh where you might be looking to leave one job and move to another um I mean you know there's all sorts of examples that I can get but that is just kind of like one example here so I mean these are beautiful Scorpio because the faith card card of Taurus Taurus energy interestingly enough is stability security success and also it's very much connected to spiritual faith um, because this can represent a holy person in your life the the faith card can also represent you keeping the faith have faith again the fool is blind faith it just trusts um and there's incredible optimism with the fool so it feels like there's an opportunity coming in to be optimistic about here 
You might not have the full picture, but the universe does. This is a card of hidden blessings. The moon is when we have lack of, lack of clarity. Okay, I'm working hard. It feels like uh, something is coming to a close here in, in my life. I'm working hard to bring positive change, certainly in terms of my money, career, finances. And um, I'm working hard to bring this opportunity in. And this is, well, don't panic, you know, keep the faith. This is about hidden blessings. If you trust your intuition, you are absolutely being guided by the universe. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy of trusting your intuition. You might have lack of clarity, but the universe doesn't. The universe sees the pic picture, and this is a card of hidden blessings, Scorpio. It's a powerful, powerful energy of surrender. Don't allow yourself to fear or doubt. Have faith that the change is coming your way. And this is where that is that, that core faith from within, blind faith almost, blind trust in the universe, that the opportunity is coming your way. Because this is the hand of God, the universe, that's bringing you that opportunity. It's the breakthrough card. Can be linked with decisions, uh, can be linked with an actual breakthrough, uh, epiphanies. Um, could be, it's a victory card, so it feels like where there has been some completion here, Scorpio, an ending, a, something that is, that is a cycle that has ended. The page is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. It feels there's been some patience here, Scorpio, there's been some adaptation to your environment but this is the breakthrough that you've been working so hard towards. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, the Sun card is good news, celebration, joy, happiness. There are better times to come. So it's a wonderful, wonderful energy of triumph, victory with this card. Um, feel good energy, most definitely. Your spirits are lifted with the Sun. There is new growth. There is new energy. Things are happening. Uh, everything's buzzing with the Sun, you know? Um, so it definitely feels like there's this kind of pause of shadow here. There's almost kind of like a pause of shadow where fear and doubt can creep in here, Scorpio, and then, wow, everything becomes clear. There is that breakthrough coming your way. It's beautiful. This, this can be linked to material success as well. Um, new growth, very, very beautiful. I love this energy, Scorpio. The card seems so wonderful. So, yeah, that's what I have for you this week. So let's pull a final fairy card. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? There's a final message, yeah. We have Tree Wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. It's beautiful. But, you know, I kind of feel in these moments of solitude, that's where you are getting the clarity, the understanding in how you need to bring opportunity into your life. It feels for some of you there may have been some alone time or some introspection um, to really understand how you need to move forward and, and maybe adapt a little bit. And it definitely feels for some of you that, yeah, this is beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Scorpio, and I will see you next time. Thank you.